Okay, so um, this is the 30 day jump rope challenge. Uh, technically four weeks. I actually am at 10 weeks as of right now. Um, I'm gonna get up and jump for you, but I will have a picture of before and after uh, four weeks. So I started April 27th, 29th, a Sunday, and then May 27th is four weeks after. So I'll have a picture of before and after. I've been jumping 30 minutes every single day. Um, I just wanted to say one, when you first start jumping, it's very, very hard. Your legs are gonna be sore for like at least four days, like really bad after that. Some so, kind of sore, they hurt when you jump. Like you're really using your muscles when you jump, but after the first week of jumping, it gets a lot, lot better. Um, and your first week of jumping is super, super hard. And you're super slow and you're not skilled. I'll jump for you guys in a second um, and kind of show you. But right now I'm at 10 weeks jumping and um, I have lost no weight. I have the before and after picture shows that it's changed, but I don't really have lost any weight. Um, people say that it's probably muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. And that kind of bothers me because um, I want to see like numbers change. I want to like lose weight. So right now I'm at 160. Um, day one I was at 160 and week 10 I'm still at 160 and 159, 158, some good days. Um, I watch the jump rope dudes online and they say you have to eat a deficit. I do eat pretty good most of the time. Like I usually stay around 1500 calories to 2000 but there are days where I have like ice cream and I overeat and I have my cheat days but then I don't feel so bad because I still jump that day. Like I haven't missed one day this entire time. Sorry I'm not looking at the... <laughs> the actual camera um, so uh, this is the the picture is just four weeks though so the picture that I show you is before and after four weeks and um, other than that I'll show you guys how I started out jump okay so when you first start jumping this is what it was like when I first started jumping barely even getting off the ground. Like the first week, I was like this. Oops, sorry guys. Mommy, my scratch is bleeding. Let me look. And then after you guys get practice, you guys will be able to start going faster. Um, during my duration of 30 minutes, like if I need to take a break, I count to 30 seconds. So I never break for more than 30 seconds and I don't have like a certain number of breaks that I take in between, just whenever I really need it. So like the first week you're going to jump super slow and then the next week, the second week you get better and you mess up. That's just what the way that it works is you're going to mess up. You're not going to be perfect. All the videos that I've seen when they jump rope, they're like professionals. They never show you messing up. They're doing double jumps like crazy, but that takes time. And I've been doing it for 10 weeks and I'm still not that good. I could do a couple tricks, but I could do... I could do that, the cross. Um, the double jumps are really hard for me. And so, like I said, like, I didn't start like even starting to jump good until like, I would say week six, week five, week six. But now I jump better, but I mess up all the time. You saw me mess up and you just keep going. So the thing is, is that I had a gym membership for, I don't know, nine years, nine years. And yeah, I lost weight a couple times during those nine years and went back, but paying for a gym membership, getting ready, getting in the car and actually going to the gym, it's really hard. I mean, even if I were to go three to five times a week, it's a lot. It's, I have three kids. I have to leave them or I have to wait for the baby to go to sleep or get up super early so I don't miss out time with them because I leave them and you're gone at least for an hour, minimum, like two hours at the gym. And you have to like go leave everybody out of your day 
and like I work Monday through Friday, get off at five to make dinner. I have to, you know, homework, bath, the kids, like I'm not waking up at five. It's really hard to wake up at five. I've done it in the past, but um, jump rope is cheap. You could literally jump in your backyard in your underwear as long as you have like clothes fence. You don't have to get ready. You don't have to drive anywhere. It's literally 30 minutes start to finish. And it's just super easy. And um, my video is way too long. But anyways, um, I just think it's better. And I work out seven days a week. Like there's no way going to any gym I ever pull off working out seven days a week. Because it's just so super easy not having to leave the house. But anyways, I'll give you an update again in the next video, but I'll put a picture at the end of this one.